Welcome to another podcast of the current situation Manchester United. Manchester United lost 1-0 to Real Sociedad. When the game started, I was on my way home, as I mentioned in my preview video. So when I was, when I basically said that I couldn't watch a game, I couldn't watch a game. Now, I kept up with the highlights on Google. Like if you were to type in Manchester United versus Real Sociedad, they would show some match recaps, like, like five second highlights of what's happening during the game. So I would watch it momentarily because I couldn't watch the game because I was on my way home. But before I get into that, I would like to commemorate uh, my condolences to the royal family that lost their, pa- their matriarch of the, the family. That's Queen Elizabeth II. She, not to go on a long eulogy because that's not my main brain and butter, but she um she she passed today and um given that her niche like the families from england there is a lot of questions around whether football from the premier league standpoint is going to continue this weekend i would like it to continue because you know that's just life you know a, a one one life goes another comes in but person say man this is the queen this is the queen you can't just push the queen to the side like that so but yeah, I would I would like to express my condolences and my um, I'm pretty sure some persons believe it was coming. I believe that's a bit over the top. Let's let's not do that. Is me they did that to their husband. Hey, I pretty if you look upon the bridging, it looked like he was gonna pass at any given time. And when that was <laughs> it happened like a couple weeks ago. When someone said, Bro, look at the man. At any given time he just about to go like that. A couple weeks ago, the man did. With Queen Elizabeth, that's different. But she passed today, and um, she uh, she uh, she reigned the form for the family for over what, what uh, seventy years, something like that. That's a long time, man. That's a long ass time. But yeah, so I would like to um, express my my sincere condolences to the royal family. Now, let us uh, move to this loss which is kind of a, 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 a we have to express our condolences for this game as well Manchester United lost 1-0 to this game I saw the highlights some minutes ago when I saw the lineup as expected and as I mentioned that Christian Ronaldo and Casemiro along with Victor Lindelof will be starting never in my head I thought Elango I, I don't even remember if I said Elango would be, did I say Elango would be starting I said Sancho and Anthony will be starting on the wings with CR7 up top. And I said Bruno Fernandes would start. So yeah, Bruno Fernandes is n- did not start. But Fred started with um, Casemiro. So those were the double pivots. And Eric Ericsson was the number 10. Um, and Lindelof started with Harry Maguire. And I believe Martinez. L- Lissandra Martinez. So I believe it was a back three, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, Malasia started, which I expected Luke Shaw to start. But this was a poor display. Based on highlights in it, that's a poor display. This is a part of our progress. Let us not be, will be bewildered by this performance. Let us not be dumb by this performance. Is me. This is a part of the process. Is me. Being a part of the process in the long term will show success. You have to stick with the plan that you started. Is me. He that started the good work will bring it to completion. Even the holy book said that. <laughs> and this is just football. So if you start something, you have to proceed to its completion. If there is a progress, if you want to see progress in a process that you started, then you need to continue that. And yes, this loss... It's probably, you could say, a real. I wouldn't say it's a real check because here's the thing, like I mentioned this while ago. Certain players haven't gelled well with the players as yet. So don't expect us to be playing this Barcelona 2009 prime time football. We're just, we have the players, but again, we self play. Our part is not warm as yet. We're not used to this football as yet fully. We're getting ripe. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're just getting there. We need to continue on this process 
Yes, you could say that we should have gotten at least a couple goals given the players that were playing. Yes, but then again, bro, if the style of play, which is good by the way, but we're not used to that style of play as yet, is that in conjunction with how the players are with the style of play as yet, then, you know, I mean, I can get a goal off a shin or off a backside, but. We want to get goals that is based on our um, style. Of course, we'll take goals either way, whether it's from our head back or whatever. But we'll just, it's better to get, be, bet, it's better to get goals from the goal that, from the build up that you started. But anyway, we didn't get any goals today. Um, yeah, our penalty was, uh, dude, he, here's the thing. <clears throat> it was quite unfortunate for Lissandra to be given for the for the penalty to be given. It was a ball it was a ball to hand man. The ball was literally going to, to bash his face like Fellini in twenty seventeen against Real Madrid. He was about to get his head bust up by David Silva shot. So how is it that you go that's a defensive mechanism. If you go shoot the ball off of my face with full force, are you expecting me to take it on like dude, I'm not going to be doing that. So the fact that he did that was just an involuntary action. That's an automatic response. Who is that a red ball? Who is a red ball? Who is it a handball? Who is that a penalty? You want the man head head to get boss up? So I don't understand how that decision was given or made by the referee. This mean not every decision by referee is 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 is, is uh, perfect. We all know that. But for heaven's sake, man, at least like what background do you have bro like you're from wrestling or something like i don't understand why he gave that penalty and yes they got one nil up ronaldo's goal was uh he scored a header which was a, del a decent a good delivery by dalo on the right hand side inside uh dalo um crossed it to the head of ronaldo and he scored it with his head but offside ronaldo, ronaldo had a few chances you could see that he was frustrated a few times Here's the thing, dude. Ronaldo is not. Well, this is cliche, but this has to be a reality check for Christian Ronaldo fans right now. Not only is Ronaldo not in the top 20 players in the world right now, because he's not. But Ronaldo is like a far cry from even last, last two seasons. If people could say, well, he said he's not fully at Manchester United. That's a, that's a point to debate, but at this stage right now, bro, he he's he stayed at he stayed at Manchester. He had a few um there were a few clubs that I'm pretty sure that wanted his like this Chinese club that wanted to give him like over mil over uh, some millions per week or something and he rejected that. So is that the clubs were not in for him, but the clubs that he wanted were not interested, like they rejected. Is me. Um so we have this this Portuguese post in our squad right now that we couldn't remove in a chance of window. Here's the thing. As I mentioned in a couple of videos ago, he's an elite goal scorer still, but he's not the same player. The fact is that if he's in his a good amount of position to score goals, he'll score goals. But to create them for himself, that he cannot do. He cannot do that. Maybe at least he can have he has a, those moments, but he has to be delivered the ball into the box. And Manchester United, yeah, we, we played decently well. You could say um, Anthony was showing his Brazilian brilliance on the uh, on the on the right hand side. Elanga was decent as well. Good big up to him. He was he, he played well. Um, beat a couple of players. Malaysia was just hardcore like a rock, solid. Um, who else? Fred, you know, Fred was decent. You know, my man was running up and down, as you expect, a box to box. <clears throat> Casemiro, I didn't see much of Casemiro. Not seeing that he didn't have a bad game or a poor game. He may have a good game, but I didn't see much of him in the highlights that I watched. So, the real, this this is my um the premise of my match reaction. As I mentioned some minutes ago, this is a this is part of the process. We cannot have a perfect process or poor perfect progress that is carved out of a perfect stone. This is not a utopia stone. This is 
where we need to work on ourselves, learn what goes and learn from that situation to do better next time. So this is not much of a reality check. I don't even think most persons were expecting us to trash. I would have said 3-0 in my match reaction, but it's me. I could, uh, my brother was feeling himself a bit when he said that, but still, man, this is a part of the progress that we need in order to be a success. We need to win trophies. I still believe we'll win the EuroLeague. I still believe we can win FA Cup and win trophies. But this is a part of the process. This is part, not of the problem in itself, but it's a part of the process. Trust the pro as, 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 as Arsenal fans will say, trust the process, trust the progress. So yes, we, are, we have to trust the progress. Again, dude, this is going to be our 10th year without this. No, this is, wait, no. This is going to be a decade since we have last won the Premier League. That's how fast time has, has gone. Yeah. This is 2022, 2023 season. A decade earlier, we won the league. So, it's going to be a decade. We cannot allow ourselves... Not all of us, as if we are playing for Manchester United and we have we are like the decision makers on the pitch, is me whether we we win trophies or not. But we are as we are a family. We are a Manchester United family. So even if we are not on the football field, we are still a family. So I'm saying this as a whole. We cannot allow this season to just go past by like breeze and not win a trophy, or at least two trophies. So yeah, man, it's, it's, it's now a decade since we have last won. Not a decade since we haven't won a Premier League trophy. That would be for next season if we, we don't win next season. But for right now, yes, we haven't, um, we haven't won the league since like a decade earlier. And that has to change. And that's because we have to trust this process. I've seen Man United, I'm, I'm pretty sure some person has seen everything out you know, Manchester United can live without, you know, this ballad manager, this ballad breakaway look look alike. This 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 breaking bad I should say, this breaking bad main character look alike. You know, this dude I think it's this dude, trust the process. He's a sedan dumb but if you don't trust the process, don't be celebrating when we win trophies, man. You have to you have to be one side. It's not there is no shades of grey when it comes down to this conversation. So if you don't trust the process, don't be celebrating with us if we don't win. No if if we win, don't be celebrating with us if we win trophies. Cause that go make you look stupid, and that go make you look hypocritical and two sided and like a weasel. So yeah, we have to trust this pro this pro the progress, man. Um, I know we have had a lot of managers over the years that has um you know give us this false hope that we were going to improve and yeah you could see say in some cases we improve but it's like one of them situations where is that we take two step forwards and four step backwards two step forwards four step backwards two step forwards go way over so so it's not really deep successful progress is it no it's not but right now we have a good manager that is looking to play good progressive football, good progressive pressing football at Manchester United at Old Trafford, and that is a progress we need to trust. Everything Hag doesn't fully have his players, but it's a start. He's got enough, a couple some players that he well he wanted Malasse, we know that. He wanted um Anthony, he knew we know that. He got um um Ericsson, he we know that. He also got um the Sandra we know so those are the four players that he wanted and he got them but I'm pretty sure as Ralph Ragnick said dude this side needs a heart a heart surgery that basically means that a couple of signs ain't gonna cut the cake for success you need to go deeper than that because there's some players still in this squad that has an a brat spoiled mentality especially coming from the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's era and that hasn't assimilated out of them system as yet so they still believe that they're a top tier player when they're just a player on the bench with a with a with a, with a, a, a entitled ego and they think that they should be starting or they, they think they should be playing and say dude that's contrary to success why you think 
Pep Guardiola, for better or for worse, although some persons criticize this side of Pep. But I think Pep Guardiola doesn't like players with personality or players with ego. Because he knows that if he wants something to be done on the pitch and those players start to buck and he say, why would I do this? Why should I do that? Then he's going to say, okay, this dude is not a part. This is why he has, this is why, this is why he, 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 he comes to blows with egos. Like, like for example, Zatan, um, I think, he, he, well, I don't think, well, Eta never rated him. Ronaldinho never rated the youth. Um, and I'm pretty sure he sold off a few other egos. He wants players that, that not are not I wouldn't say that are sheep, but players that are opening to learn. They they, they they yearn they learn they learn they yearn for knowledge. They want to become better. And by getting better with an experienced manager like Pep Guardiola, they're going to, you know, listen to the youth. Listen to the bridge, not the youth, because he's not young in football. Um <laughs> it's in two thousand eight. But just to improve, man. And yeah, man, you know, person may say, well, he doesn't have the fortitude to, to manage and handle egos. That's why he doesn't want egos in the squad. Whatever you want to call it, well, he has Holland in the squad. And Holland, if you believe Holland has no ego, then you have no, no brain cells. But that is one of the reasons why Pep Guardiola is a successful man. is because he doesn't want egomaniacs in the this, in this squad that's going to basically sidetrack he, what he wants from his squad. He wants a player that are opening to learn. Is me. Like even when he was at Barcelona not to go along on pit, but this is just to show this is just a, a a point that I'm trying to prove. Not to prove but to stay. We're on a we're on a progressive train right now. And this journey is going to be quite a journey. Let us not be surprised if we don't win the Premier League title in two years which is going to extend to 12 years when we don't win it but that's a part of the progress man some they have to do the hard work now to end to have an enjoyment later look at liverpool not not to go into the, the camps of um liverpool but when club came in man that squad was nowhere near their pr the pr like their 2018 to 2000 and 21 squad that it's a it's a miscontent is it's it is this is this is hold on it's disrespectful to even make the comparison when the when club came in and it and looked people want clubs to be sucked at this moment um when club came in in fall of 2015 after brenda was sucked from liverpool i know brenda's looking to be sucked from leicester persons were basically saying okay Cup, you know, good manager brought that man to the league, to the Champions League final. Won a couple of uh, tight titles when Bayern was roaring in that in that league. Let's see what he's about. But can he change this 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 dire Liverpool side? You have man like Origi that turned to be a legend supposedly for the uh, Liverpool. You have you have, you have um, Milner. You have Coutinho, good player. But then you have this this Bridgen, This this you have Saka. You have Klein, and you have a couple of dead wood players in the squad. How is it that Klopp is going to use this squad to his benefit? You have a, a patient named Daniel Storage that's not starting as much, but he's still a good striker. His is 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 demon is that he has injuries. How is it? But without getting into bro, this dude evolved Liverpool, and that is the progress we need to trust. Liverpool went to the Euro League that same season with that squad. That same Euro League final with that squad. Yes, they lost. But the fact is that, and also, they beat Dortmund that had better players than Klopp, than Klopp's Liverpool side. And Tuchel was the, man, the, the manager at the time of Dortmund. It's me. And then the next season came. And they made progress. Got money. Is me. Um, they got probably a couple more players. Then after that, see, they got Salah, and that is where things started to to go up on the on the successful hill for Liverpool. Now, mind you, they didn't win the trophies, any trophy for those three seasons. But the fact is that 
not only their football improve, but they got better players. Their style of system suited the players that they got. And you could see, you could see that they were making a success. They were looking to challenge for the league. You see me? Their pressing caught out a lot of Premier League. They were just... Dude, if you see how Liverpool was pressing in 2017-2018, I don't even think Man City's press is even... I don't even think Tottenham's press in 2016-2017 under Pochettino could have beaten the, that Liverpool press. It's no contest. It's no contest. So the fact is this. Going back to Manchester United, because this is the Manchester United channel, the point is that we have to trust the progress. Don't be surprised if we don't win any trophies this season or even next season. This is a part of the progress. Now, person may say, with the players that we have in this squad, we should be winning a, a trophy. And I agree wholeheartedly. But the fact is that don't be surprised if we don't win a trophy, because that's a part of the progress. There are some persons, if it comes down to the business world, that didn't enjoy life until they became a billionaire. But before they became a billionaire, they were grinding. They were just, just, just down and dirty, just working on themselves, getting, getting the money that they need. Whether it's you know, um, you know, whether it's through with the hand or even you know, s selling things with their hand on the on the side of the road. Either way, they grinded. Either way, they grind. Whether it's illicitly or, or not illicitly. So, the fact is this. This loss of Manchester United to Real Sociedad... Dude, this is just the first game of... of this, is not the, this is not the defining game, whether we qualify or not, to go to the next round. This is just the first game. And if some person may say, well, exactly. You shouldn't be losing the first game in no Euro League. Euro League, man. Manchester United, man. Losing the first game in Euro League. Dude, let us relax. We have at least five more games... In the Euro League, we can at least win four. And we, well, we can win five, but we can win four and draw one and still go through. So don't be, be, be will, don't be bothered by this one loss. And this you will. And the thing is this, man. We cannot allow this one loss to to bring us down. This is just one loss in the in the Euro League, not in the Premier League. So. With that being said, trust the pro I know it's cliche to say, I know it's easier said than done, but trust the progress, man. Trust the process. Um, yeah, man. That's, but see, stuff, results like this will tell you which who is a real Man United fan or who is a fan of football or a, a fan of a club or not. Is through tests like this. Because tests like this will show who is on your side and who is not on your side. For example, if you are if you have an adverse situation in your life, you see me, you're down on your luck, you're not making no money because you broke like a car window. If your friends ain't rocking with you, then you know that you didn't have no friends in the first place. Those friends weren't your real friends. They were just fakers. That you don't want to tell it to your face that they didn't want to be a friend. You see me? So the fact is, if you are down... And you're unfortunate at the moment, and some person that claims to be your friends in supporting you, then that's a, tell, a cautionary telling sign that the person was wrong with you in the first place, genuinely or authentically. So the fact is, with, with this Man United loss, that's going to weed out the weak, unauthentic Man United fans. And you can just read them comments and, and, and it will tell you that. Oh, this brethren. You know, we can't trust this bread. Dude, this brethren just came came officially at in April. Start managing in in late of June. Give this brethren time. Yes, this is three official this is his third official loss as manager at Manchester United. But give dude, sometimes you have to lose to win it in in the end, man. Give it time, man. Don't be beating on the man's um um No man, just Give the bridging time, man. It's 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 just frustrating, man. Just give the bridging time. He's going to evolve this Man United squad, and by the signings that he's done in the summer transfer window, that should tell you that he's looking to see things move a certain direction. Don't be just calling quits and say you should be, do. We sh it's not easy to just replace. This is not football uh, manager. This is not FIFA career mode. 
so replacing a manager just like that at the move of your finger is not going to really make a success trust to progress that's what's what that's that's the thing we need to be doing so yes this is uh again I, like i said dude, this is not a, a real check this is just progress in my book i'm going to take it as progress you get rejection in life don't see that as failure see that as progress that makes you be better next time whether it's with a job proposition uh you're looking for a job or a chick you down the road or something it's progress man you shouldn't be beating yourself over that just the progress um so yeah man that's enough you know a brother is beat from work because he just came in from work but this yeah this this loss we shouldn't allow this loss to be will us or to belittle us is me is me uh like I said, bro, we have to lose now to win later. Is me. That's 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 what we have. That's that should be our motto, our mantra. Is me. So um, like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below as well, and I'll show it to you guys in the next video podcast, which will be our next game in the Premier League. But like I said, given that the Queen, that given that Queen Elizabeth, you know, the second passed away, the Premier League is looking to postpone games this weekend. I, I I'm not I'm not I'm not 100 on that I'm not 100 I'm not on that same page I don't believe they should postpone a couple of games just to accommodate and 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 and, and commemorate the the loss of a, a a celebrated figure in the in the world but yeah so if there's a game on the weekend I'll be doing a preview if there's no game on the, uh, on the weekend and there will no be there will be no preview, but I might still do a Manchester United video. Is me? Maybe it's a player that used to play for us in the past or something. Look out for that. And I'll show you guys in the next video podcast. I'm out. Deuce.